Good morning, everybody, and happy Monday. Um, we're at home. Home. We're not out on the road. Um, today's issue, we had a sweep pad that fell off of our sweep wagon. So we're going to go drop the sweep. Shut her down. And go into pin light. I think I have you guys situated in a good angle here. Um, we're going to go ahead and set up real quick. I'll bring you back in after I'm done. And I know that some of you are probably thinking, well, this is, anybody should know how to do this, right? This is super easy. Ooh, loud noise warning. But this is intended more for uh, somebody who may not know um, a newer entry level technician or somebody who may be, let's say a residential install homeowner. I'm just gonna coat the felt pad with some aerosol glue. Pretty healthy layer. We don't want this coming up again anytime soon. Whee! Smells lovely in here. But, that's okay, all the fumes will go away real quick. I've laid down a drop cloth, and that way I don't have to worry about overspray, uh, getting on things I don't want it to be on. Okay, pad is done. We're gonna do the inside of our sweep wagon frame. And then we get to wait a few minutes for everything to dry. Uh-oh. I've lost propellant charge, new can. So I brought a second can. I was worried that was gonna happen. It was not full when I started. All right. And now we wait five minutes for it to dry. I'll bring you guys back when it's done. It's been about five minutes. Um, it's important to make sure that the glue has time to dry so that uh, you get proper adhesion between your two parts. Um, it is contact cement. That's how it's designed to be used. Um, I wouldn't want to put it together wet and then have it fall off inadvertently while it's still curing. Uh, but let's go ahead. With that being said, bring our piece in. We're pretty much going to roll it into place. And then we're just lightly getting it lined up. Hold on. Then we're going to smush it down a little bit. This is good. This is perfect. Mm. We're about a quarter of an inch off on this side. It's just off shot. Can't see it. But it's not blocking access to the, uh, the holes in the sweep wagon for the bolts. So we're good. Squish it down real good. And we're all set. Just like new. Cleanup on this is gonna be super easy. We're done. The next thing we're gonna jump into is um, replacing this section of um, division capping. It has uh, been hit with a bowling ball and it's shattered. Again, this is something that I think a lot of people do know how to do, um, but this happens to be the last piece 
Um, and these ones are gonna have to be cut to fit. The good news here is that our Lightworks module double stick tape uh, isn't very sticky. But I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. There's screws in here. We're gonna have to take all those screws out. We're gonna measure against this, our new piece, and cut it to fit. So we've gone ahead and measured it up. This is our cut line. Um, I'm gonna try and do it like quick and fast and quick and easy with uh, our little recip saw. Oh, got stuck. Hold on. Technical difficulties. There we go. Done. Look at that. Fits like a glove. So what we're going to do, we're going to anchor down this end, then we're going to anchor down that end, and then we're going to fill in all our little screw points. So the next thing, we're going to have to get our uh, little insert in here and space our LED module accordingly. So right about there looks pretty good. Then, we get our clear cover back on top and we are good to go. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty destroyed. Well, we can use the same method for uh, transition strips too, huh? Neat. 